Hello everyone, this is Resonic the Jerk Gamer, and welcome back to Katawa Shoujo. Last time, we talked about the development history of Katawa Shoujo. And this time, we're not gonna do that, because all of this is important to Emmy's part. My morning alarm goes off, and I flare about uselessly for a while, until I remember that I decided to give morning runs another shot. I don't know if this was my greatest idea, but I'm determined to keep going. This is about my health, after all. Sure, things haven't been great for me lately, but that hasn't made existence so intolerable that I'm not going to try everything I can to stay healthy. Besides, it's all about asserting some kind of control over this thing, right? If I can manage that, well, I can manage anything. At least, that's what I keep telling myself. Once again, it would appear that I am not alone in my run. Emmy has appar apparently been here for some time. Looks like she's already walked up a good sweat. This, what? When the hell does she come down here anyway? Five in the morning. Oh, it's you! I'm surprised to see you again! Why is that? Well, not many people actually managed to come back for a second try. She frowned, seemingly annoyed by a passing thought. Like the rest of the track team, for instance. Still, it was only supposed to be a voluntary basis, so it's not that big of a shock. And I guess it's pretty early in the morning. A shrug, and suddenly appears that she's forgotten what she was talking about. Damn, she's passionate. <laughs> the friend disappears entirely, and she seems to snap back to her previous chain of thought. So, come on then! What? You're here to run again, right? Well, yes. So come on! I find myself suddenly grabbed and yanked onto the track. Damn, I'm strong. Things seem to be set on mirroring yesterday's run. That is, I seem to be struggling while Emmy moves with an effortlessness that I find inevitable. It's incredibly bothersome to be so easily worn out. I know I should be patient, Walk towards things gradually, but it's difficult to stay positive about this. We round the track and start on our second lap. Emmy seems to have grown impatient keeping pace with me and begins to pull away. This is where I gave out yesterday. Will I be able to do more? Let's go for it! What am I doing here? Am I really just going to fold and let Emmy pull ahead? I speed up. The second lap's done quickly, and without even considering it, I keep going. Emmy looks back over her shoulder at me and grins. Still going? Wouldn't you want to think I'm out of shape? Emmy laughs without breaking a stride, no less. It speeds up even more. Well, if this is the way we're going to play things, I increased my own pace as well. FULL SPEED AHEAD! I can feel my lungs burning, and my legs are starting to question just what the hell I think I'm doing. Lactic acid screams in my muscles, but I close my ears. I can't let myself fall behind, because that would be a loss. The rational voice in my head inquires mildly, just when we started playing a game. I'd answer it, but I have a having a lot of trouble thinking at present. She's so fast! How the hell does she keep- It's like a string pulling up my chest, choking feeling of narrowness and pain. If I can think of anything else then- Oh shit, the check disappears from under my feet. I stumble one hand shooting down to clutch at my chest, the other hitting the track to keep me from falling on my face. Emmy rolls around and her eyes widen. Jesus Christ! Hasso! She yells at me, spinning from the other side of the track. What's wrong? Nah, <laughs> nothing, just... <laughs> Keep your breathing steady. Calm down. Don't panic. Don't panic. Do you need me to get the nurse? I close my eyes, shutting out the outside world. My heart struggles to gain its rhythm. 
Slowly, the pain in my chest begins to subside. Soon, it's gone. Like nothing happened. It was... nothing? No, something happened though. I put my eyes again and glanced at a worried Demi. I think I'm fine. My voice sounds weird, even to myself. Oddly even. A matter of fact. It makes me frown. I don't think you are. Seems to come to a decision and not to herself. Wait, you're coming with me! You get to see the nurse! Yes, finally! Reason! And me grabs my arm and drags me up. I feel a bit wobbly, but I refuse the shoulder and me offers for support. Stop being him! Honestly, I'm a little ashamed of my own weakness. That's fine, accept help! I'd really rather not have Emmy concerned about me, but it seems it's too late. Heck, I'd really rather not have anyone concerned about my condition. So at this point, it seems to be too late for that as well. I'd like to be able to deal with this whole thing on my own, without being a bother to anyone else. While I'm wishing for things, I'd rather not have the condition in the first place. And he crashes in the, his office without knocking, but it doesn't alarm the nurse in the least. Good morning, Sunshine! What's up? Sunshine? Anyway, he calmly sips from his coffee mug, but lays it down after following Emmy's gaze to me and looming in the doorway. And so, what brings you here? We were burning, and he stumbled over and started grabbing his chest, and I thought I'd come to get you when he made him weird that he's a Easy there, Emmy. Calm down. So, what happened? I don't know. We were running and then my chest started hurting like that time before. But I went away after a few seconds. It was just a flutter or something. The nurse frowns as if to say that just a flutter is some kind of oxymoron. I didn't mean quite this when I suggested to get some exercise. Gotta be more careful, Hussao! I was being careful, I just to think of it. I just got into a race with a member of the track team. Does this seem as re well reasoned as I thought it would? No, it doesn't, does it? You just what? Uh, that is... I was racing Emmy. Emmy, is that true? Emmy fidgets, looking adorable contrite. Uh, well... <laughs> Finally, she can't seem to bring herself to say it aloud, and merely nods. Nurse sighs and rubs at his forehead with one hand tiredly. Emmy, you gotta be more sensitive to the limits of others. I don't know if I told you, but his out has a bad heart. And getting him to race you was incredibly irresponsible. Uh, actually, I started it. The nurse is stunned by my statement. You what? We were just running and Emmy started to pull a hand, and so I, uh, fed up the catch all. The nurse stares at the ceiling, mutters a prayer for a patient, to some god or another, looks back down at the both of us. So, you're both stupid! That's a comfort, I guess. Now come on, Asao. I gotta make sure your heart's not going to explode or something. I can't keep a constant voice. Goddamn. I dutifully obey and followed him to the adjacent room, where we asserted that I am, in fact, not going to keep kneel over and die. So how does it feel? I don't know, nothing much. I'm tired, but it might just be from the exercise. Just stay here for a few hours and rest. I will see how you feel after that. I'm not going to object, so I lie down on the infirmary bed. Infirmary bed? Blah. A thoroughly miserable Amy comes in after getting an earful from the nurse in the other room. Wah, 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 wah. I couldn't hear what he said through the closed door. But I'm sure it wasn't pleasantries. Wah, 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 wah. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry. I should have been more careful. Hey, you didn't know. It's not your fault. She looks awfully down and sorry. My reassurance don't do anything much to cheer up. I want to make it up to you. Again, with that decisive nod. So you have to come to lunch with me. I'll bring it for you, okay? Something really, really good! I start with that, you don't have to, but then shut up and just start at when I see her face. Good! 
We meet on the roof. We? Yep, the weather's nice now, so the roof's a great spot for lunch, you know? I see. You'll come, right? You want to deny me the chance to make it up to you? Of course not. Great, see you there. I need to go hide. I stay afloat to somewhere between asleep and awake, feeling completely drained. Not only my body, but all of me is limp and paralyzed, apart from my senses. I swallow with difficulty and then try to lie as still as I can, which in this state is not a very hard thing to do. Notice the shuffling around on the other side of the curtains he drew to give me privacy. Oh, I can see it. I can see his shadow shifting about in the sunlight. He has opened a window of his office. That's windy outside. The clean white curtains flutter in the breeze in a heavy, lazy motion, like waves. Light sifts through them slowly, half absorbing into the fabric, 